Hey everyone, Aether here, and before I talk about today's gold farming guide, I just want to quickly shout out to all the people who have given me so many wholesome and positive comments over the last month, as well as everyone who has subscribed. I really did not expect this much traction in such a short time frame, and I really do appreciate every single one of you. Thank you all so much. Right then, on to the gold farm. Today we're going to be looking at a super easy gold farm which focuses on bloodstained bones and coarse leather. We will then use these to create a venerable item, thus technically turning it into a raw gold farm. To follow this guide fully, you will need skinning and leatherworking. Leatherworking only needs to be level 1, but I'd recommend completing the rank 3 skinning quests if you want to produce the same results as me. Any class can complete this farm. The mobs we want are these cute little doggos by the river here. Sorry doggos. Round them all up, AoE them all down. Their generic loot tables aren't terrible either, but the main materials we want are of course from skinning. The first couple of spawns sometimes feel like they take a little longer to spawn, but once you get into the swing of things, the respawns feel like they happen just after you finish skinning the last mob. There's also a patrol of neutral mobs that run up and down the adjacent hill those can also be skinned. When I fully noted down all drops within a 1 hour period, I gained 210 Tempest Hides, 168 Calcified Bones, 1644 Coarse Leather, 912 Bloodstained Bones, and 1200 Raw Gold from Greys and Greens and stuff. With the leather and bones, you want to open up your leatherworking tab and create coarse leather cestus. These vendor for just over 56 gold, with the blue version, which procs fairly often, vendoring for even more gold. Using my data from a whole hour's farm, I can create 114 cestus. And if you lowball and assume you had zero blue procs, which isn't possible, you'd make 6,426 gold. Realistically, it's going to be nearer 6,600 gold at least. Also, if we add in the raw gold from greys and greens and everything else that I vended, that brings the total gold per hour to 7,800, just from vendoring. Tempest hides, calcified bones, stringy loins, etc. have tanked so hard on my server, I'm not even going to calculate any numbers for them. Obviously your server may vary and this farm may be even more profitable for you than it is for me. To get to this location, you'll need to head to Tiragard Sound and take the Freehold Flight Point. This is the non-instance Freehold area which should not be confused with the Castaway Point Flight Point that's adjacent to the Freehold Dungeon entrance. Once here, drop down, head northwest and you'll see the dogs by the river. Ataldazar is still a better farm per hour, but this area is way more relaxed. Your brain can almost AFK while you're amassing gold. I'd recommend this area if you're instance locked or you just want a change of pace from interrupting fears in Ataldazar. If you've enjoyed this video, then please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you want to keep up to date with more gold making videos in the near future, please consider subscribing. Thank you all so much for watching.